Hi, Judy from Witch Peace Craft. Welcome to today's video. The month it was. I haven't done a week that was for a while. I've been really busy, so I thought I'd do the month that was and tell you what I've been up to these past three weeks, month almost. Um, so there was Reeves's birthday, my birthday, Mother's Day. I'm hosting May Amigurumi Wars, which is keeping me busy, but I'm really enjoying it. I'm absolutely amazed at the beautiful projects. I hope you watch some of my slideshow videos. I'll put links below so you can go and check them out. But yes, and work's busy. So there you go. May is a busy month for me. So first of all, I thought I'd share with you some of the yarny gifts I got for my birthday. There's a bit of a story behind the first one. So most of you would know that Thing hand winds my yarn. He's very good at it and has done it for years. But this Thursday, he heads off to Spain for two months. His heritage is Spanish. He's got friends over there and he's going on a drive round camping trip of different places and he'll meet up with me in the UK in August. Might be three months actually, <laughs> but yes. So my ball winder is going away and Reeves said he'd do it. So he had a go one night and decided it was way too boring. And for my birthday, he bought me a ball winder. The Jumbo Ball Winder um, came with the Wheel magazine and a few other little things. I have unpacked it and had a look at it. I'm a bit disappointed in the way it was packed, but everything's fine. And there is more to this story. So he said either he can stand there and watch TV and crank it, or I can. <laughs> but yes, there's no way he's ball winding yarn by hand. So he bought me a ball winder, which is really good. I mean... I eventually would want one. So what else did I get? Well, thing blew me away. I was really surprised. He bought me a brand new laptop, super duper laptop. My laptop's getting a bit old and has been playing up. But yes, he bought me a great laptop with Windows 11. I have set it up, but I'm not using it much. I'm using my old laptop while I'm doing Amigurumi Wars because I'm familiar with what I'm doing. After May, I'll get more into my new laptop. My old laptop ribs once. He's a bit of a IT collector. Come, I'll strip that and do this with it. So yes, a brand new laptop, which blew me away. The other thing is I got a beautiful card from my friend Karen in Adelaide. She made it herself. It is so pretty. You really should take this up and sell these, Karen. I couldn't do all those little diamond dots. It is beautiful. And I thank you so much for sending me that, plus the patterns you gave me. So the other thing I got was a pattern pro a gift from my friend Janice in Victoria off my wish list. This has been on my wish list for quite a while. And yes, I actually have been through my stash somewhere up here. I haven't quite decided I have yarn to make this. It is the summer stripes. Ta -da! Oh, it's going to glare in this slot. I don't have those colours, but I do have the right yarn to make it and enough of the right yarn. So that could be my next cast on. I really might be ideal for me to finish it and take it to the UK with me because the weather will be warming up around then. So there you have it. There were some of my birthday yarny gifts. Mother's Day. So Mother's Day was a week later. I got a new, um, like a cushion to help me craft from Reeves. It sort of comes around me. It is really helping my back because I do get back spasms. But... Thing messed up. He obviously was preoccupied with his trip and didn't listen to Reeves when he said what he had bought me for my birthday because I now have two wall winers exactly the same with the magazine. I haven't unpacked it. Slow winder. There you go. Exactly the same ball winder for Mother's Day. He was very embarrassed. He couldn't cancel the order. They wouldn't take it back. 
And yes, he just said, I can't believe. And, and Reeve said, I told him three times. And I said, he's been, he's had a lot of dental work done before he goes. He's been, just been so preoccupied with getting everything done before he goes that he just didn't listen. And did we give him heaps? But I don't know what I'll do with the second ball winder. It's quite heavy. I might have to calculate postage because I'd want to, if I gave it away, I'd do it worldwide, but it is about three kilos, so that could be quite expensive. I might just need find a friend who needs a bowl winder and give it to them as a gift. Um, just say, not a birthday gift, it's just a gift because there's no need for two ball winders. Although Rave said I could stand there doing this, which would be great arm exercise. <laughs> so I ended up with two ball winders. When Thing realised that he managed to get me to something in urgence because was this little um, hook and notions case with polar bears on it. I have one similar that was given to me with peonies on it, similar inside. Except we notice this is a good half inch smaller than that one, but exactly the same. But it has polar bears on it. And he said, I know you have a few, but I felt really bad about the uh, ball winder. He also got me another cake from my favourite cake shop, vegan lemon cake with um, macaron, macaroons on top um, for Mother's Day because he said, I was scratching this. He said, I didn't know what to do in the end. So yes, two ball winders. At least they were thinking of my yarny hobbies. So that was my birthday. I did get a lot of gifts from friends, other gifts, and I really appreciate it. So thank you very much for all the great birthday wishes. Finished objects. Well, my first finished object I can't show you. I was making an indigenous colored blanket and matching beanie for Crochet for Cancer, and I gave it to them last Saturday. They put the call out asking for lapgans and beanies in indigenous colors and I managed to finish in time I went to that meeting knitting meeting crochet meeting met up with Ulia we had lunch had a great day and I donated it there there will be a picture of it at the end of this video I was really happy with the way it turned out I used a bag a day easy tutorial for the blanket put all the links in the description below and because I've been doing the bat, bottle Appaloosa hat, oh, here we go, make along, I've learned some skills along the way about hats. So I took the skills that I've learned from Crystal's tutorials and put the pattern in part of the beanie to match the blanket. And I was really pleased with the way it turned out. So I actually had a lap game with a matching beanie. I hope you enjoy the photo at the end. So that was my first finished object. I told you I was hosting Amagurumi Wars and trust me, I have been so busy at work, which isn't unusual, but I'm just not used to it since COVID. A lot of kids going away to state and national sporting competitions and parents seeking financial assistance and it takes up quite a bit of time processing the applications. My Amagurumi this month so far it's one tiny little snake Ta -da! made with scrappy yarn. This is from our feature designer, Little Mug Muggles, I think it is. I'll put a link to that. She actually has it in green and red and calls it the New Year's snake. But I had some scrap yarn at work and when I had a break, I would do a bit. But as you can see, I've been quite busy. This is my only amigurumi for May so far and could be the only one <laughs> but that's life so now I'll pause it before my next finished objects so I can show you so next finished objects are for Bod had a palooza see if I say it quick but I was a few weeks behind but I have caught up so this was week 17 it's made in the um, spotlight USA style super saver um, which is a Templar yarn. I think the colour number is numbered, but I think it's called Petrol. And there you go. Num week 17 was Super Textured Beanie from Bag O Day. Hashtag 582 tutorial. I really enjoyed making this and I like the way it turned out. 
So then we'll put the next one on. This was, oh, it's got a clip in it. Week 18. And this is the stitch sampler tutorial. This is this was quite um, time consuming for me. I had to um, I started it once and then I redid it. I was doing it with a five millimeter, and then I decided I have to frog it and start again and do it with a five point five millimeter. I should have listened to Crystal. Now I have used Heartland for this Lion Brown Heartland. I love the way the backs turn out. It's really quite a feature in the colour redwood. And yeah, I probably will end up donating those for crochet for cancer. The stitch sampler, like the yarn ball was, um, it's a 100 gram ball, I think so. Yeah, it was a 100 gram ball, 132 grams. And it did take up quite a bit because that's all that's left out of a full ball. But that was week 17. Week 18, are you ready for this? I'm going to model it. Da -da -da -da. I don't, I think, that's it, that's better. It's got a bit of a bump at the back. This is week 19. And it is easy crochet hat with twisted cowl. Well, I didn't make the cowl. She used a lime brown fur thing that it came with yarn and fur. But I didn't have this. And when I picked this yarn, it had quite a bit of grey, which is on top. And this is yarn that was sent to me by Raylene. And yes, it came in handy. So for the fur bit, I used uh, Moda Vera Curly Loop Yarn which is polyester and um, yeah I got a bit of a fur trim on the hat so there you go that was week 19 so I finished my three hats and I'm up to date with bod hatapalooza um, so did you stick through the end are you still there because I thought being Getting towards the end of my birthday month, I haven't done many giveaways for my birthday other than the pattern one for the Ukraine socks and um, extra one for Amigurumi Wars. But when I was cleaning up, I came across a post box I hadn't used from God knows how long ago I bought it. And I decided I would do a mystery box giveaway for my birthday. So here goes. It's open worldwide. You must be over 18 years of age. Uh, abide by all the rules and conditions applying to YouTube because at YouTube are not affiliated with it. And it opens today. All you have to do is leave a comment below this video to be entered. And I'll draw it on May the 31st Eastern Standard Time Australia sometime on that day. The idea is, and I can't open it, I'll put stuff in there. I already have two balls or two cakes of yarn that I found and I bought this week and put in there. There could be some crochet knickknacks, knitting knickknacks, maybe some snacks. I don't know. The winner will just get this little mystery box to celebrate my birthday month. So I hope you enter and uh, yeah, just leave a comment. And the rules and everything will be in the description below. There'll be a lot in the description below this video. So what else is there? Let me have a look at all my notes. Um, basically what I have been doing in May is working on my big knitting projects and reducing my whip pile. I want to reduce my whip pile by June. I'd like to join... Karma's a stitch knit um, cast on party on the 10th of June, which also happens to be Knitting Public Day, which also happens to be our knitting meeting at Crochet for Cancer or Crochet Meeting, Knitting, whatever you want to do there. So there's a lot on that day, but I do have quite a few whips. I definitely want to reduce them before I go away in August and have a lot of them finished. But I do want to cast on a couple of new ones because I am getting bored with them. 
today is the day where I do my last triangle on my 100 day project which is the Stephen West jigsaw blanket and then I have till about the end of the, the 1st of June at midnight to finish the border and it's going to be quite a big border because it's turned out to be quite a big blanket. I've got my socks from Ukraine I've been working on. I have about three, four amigurumi projects. So yes, I have been trying to move them along and I would like to make another indigenous blanket before our next um, crochet for cancer meeting. Um, I must admit the Ukraine sock pattern I'm using has been really testing my limits but I am enjoying it and yeah it should be fun for the rest of the month. So guys I hope you've enjoyed catching up with me for the month it was and that you leave a comment to go in the get my birthday giveaway. It's just a little something to give back to my subscribers. I won't be advertising it as a giveaway. It's just there if you watch the video and you leave a comment. Um, and I will draw it on the 31st. So there you go. Two ball winders. Only could happen to me. Don't have one for years and suddenly I've got two. Let me know if you use a ball winder and if you have the jumbo one, what do you think? I haven't used it yet because I'm determined to finish some of these projects. Okay guys, have a great day. Stay safe and make sure you have a crafty day. I really enjoyed making this and thank you Elaine for that yarn. It was such a blessing. I had no fur yarn. Until next time, bye for now.